Hey YouTube, it's Cash. This video will be part of a new playlist highlighting idiophones. I'm going to show you how I built what I call a chime box and a chime fan. I will also show you how I made a 6 input noise affected mixer piezo amp box that can be used to boost signals from any of my piezo pickup creations. In my noise box video, I explained that idiophones is any musical instrument that creates sound by the vibration of the instrument itself. Like chimes or barred instruments, which include glockenspiels and xylophones, each bar or chime is an idiophone. This video will mostly highlight my rhythm idiophone player chime fan, but I will also show you how I made a chime box, which is something that most people can make. You can even make a simpler version with just a piezo, input jack, chimes, and a box. To make a chime box, you need to find a wibble wobble chime toy. I explained in my noise box video that these come in many forms in both stuffed animals and plastic baby toys. For example, I found a large chime in this plastic play school toy. I found this clasped hinged wood box at a goodwill to house my chimes. I added two outputs with piezos. The first is a stereo eighth inch out with two piezos to create an acoustic stereo effect. The second is a mono quarter inch jack with two piezos with a potentiometer to mix the signal from a piezo directly fixed to the chimes and from a piezo at the opposite side that makes contact with the spring to create a reverb effect. I decided to add an additional spring to amplify this effect. I added an electrical grounding bar to the outside of the box so I can add additional idiophone elements that I can change out. I attached cabinet door bumpers to what I'm calling the bottom as feet to help cancel sound transfer and to soften noise on set down and pickup. This box is meant to be picked up and swung to make sound so I recommend something, even a towel, to sound dampen this action or limit sound transfer from other instruments. In this demo, I will take the stereo out from the 8th inch jack and affect one side with the Warden Cliff and the other with the El Castillo by Hungry Robot. The mono out is affected by the Kilobyte by Caroline Guitar Company. I added a wire mixing ball, a spring, and a skewer to the grounding bar to add another layer of sound to the chimes. The skewer can be played with a bow to create a few tones depending on where it's bowed. I wanted to make a motorized electromechanical instrument to use with my time interval generator, which is the current backbone of my live setup. This fan has made an appearance before on my channel with my time interval generator for acoustic and EMF sound elements, which I can still implement. So it was natural to evolve the blade section to a rhythmically idiophone playing machine. And if you follow my channel, you already know that electromechanical instruments are some of my favorite things. I wanted to isolate the chime idiophone elements as much as possible, so I used plumbing pipe insulation to hold whatever I want to sound, plastic, wood, cardboard, or metal. Then I used tongue suppressors to attach the piezos with eighth inch outs. I isolated them using cymbal stand felt. The tongue suppressors act like piezo contact clamps to accommodate whatever size idiophone I choose. I added a dimmer switch to slow the speed of the fan and I made a mallet with a steel drink straw. The rubber straw elbow lent some unpredictability to the strikes, especially at high speeds. My first test went well, but I quickly realized that I need to make a few more modifications. Here's my first test with just the wind chimes and some pedals. Magpie Moist, Red Panda Particle, 
Alexander Syntax Error, and AC Noises AMA. This test also shows how you can use the individual outs. This is the piezo amp box. I could have dedicated a video just on this, but just for the sake of this video, I will just focus on the build. This is made from a Clarity telephone amplifier and a Paper Jam's Wowie vocal effect amplifier. I bent the teleamp with a noise touch control and I used the red and green telephone wires for the positive and ground for the in and out. I kept the volume and tone control and added a push button to trigger the boost. The circuit is powered by a 9 volt battery and it's all noise. I leave the volume at zero and play with the volume and the contacts to add various noise effects. This is run into the paper jams which I left alone. The effects are touch sensitive so I soldered the contacts to bolts to turn the various effects on and off. The six inputs are split into two clean outs, three each, and the whole wet mix is into a mono out. The potentiometers control the clean to wet mix so this could also be used as a pseudo passive stereo mixer just using the clean outputs. The idea is that you could create a pseudo stereo field using a variation of the two clean outs pan mixed with a mono affected signal. My first test was messy. The noise of the amp was unpredictable with the time interval generator and I still wanted to show this demo because it's part of the story. If you want to know more about the signal paths in this demo, please ask in the comments. <laughs> I want to show you the amp box and the fan chime alone so you can appreciate what the amp box can do with the piezoed idiophones. I took a combination of the clean and wet signal out of the amp and ran them through the Drolo stretch weaver.
In this demo, I'm going to give my piezo amp a timeout so I can cleanly show how the chime fan can be triggered by my signature time interval generator setup. I also wanted the demo the both the chime fan and the chime box together. I used a pocket clocket by Moffin Zeph Modular, as I have before, triggered by the Akai Rhythm Wolf to trigger everything else including the time interval generator. The chime box mono out through the El Castillo and then through the Chase Bliss mood expressioned by the pocket clocket. I wanted the time interval generator to drive my modified Bandy 8 band player again as in the previous demo, but I changed it up by using a small flexi cut up record affected by the Chase Bliss habit also expressioned by the pocket clocket. I wanted to add a strong stereo effect to the chime fan so I decided on the Source Audio Collider. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.
Bounce! 